टुडे इन आर फिजिक्स मोसा इज प्ले नाउ दिस इज वन टॉपिक टॉपिक नेम इज प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन व्हाट इज प्रोजेक्टाइल व्हेन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज थ्रोन इन अ और ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड विद द हॉरिजॉन्टल मेकिंग सम इनवर्ट थीटा देन इट मूव्स विद कांस्टेंट हॉरिजॉन्टल वेलोसिटी एंड कांस्टेंट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सीलरेशन इन वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन देन दिस टाइप दिस टू टाइप ऑफ दिस टू डायरेक्शनल मोशन इज कॉल्ड प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट परफॉर्मिंग प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन इज कॉल्ड प्रोजेक्टाइल नाउ हियर इन दिस प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन वी हैव टू ऑब्टेन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल फॉर द पाथ ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल देन हाइट एंड टाइम फॉर मैक्सिमम हाइट एंड टाइम फॉर द टोटल फ्लाइट एंड एट द लास्ट वी हैव द रेंज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल द टॉपिक इज लाइक दिस वे जस्ट यू कैन सी हियर सपोज Uh, this is x axis and this is y axis and the projectile is projected at this way in a gravitational field with its angle theta with initial velocity v0 this have two component that is here v0 v0 cos theta along x direction and here is v0 sin theta along y direction so uh, this height is called maximum height and uh, that is a time and the total distance traveled in horizontal direction that is known as the angle first thing to know that here the velocity velocity have two component component that is v0 cos theta Along, along x direction and v0 sin theta along y direction. Therefore, the distance traveled in x direction that is x is equal to v0 cos theta into t. And similarly, y direction uh, that is here. Y is equal to that is the zero. Now similarly here also velocity that is v x is equal to v zero cos theta and v y is equal to v zero minus zero. Now that part of the trajectory, the trajectory, trajectory. Projectile motion can be obtained here. Y is equal to v zero sine theta into t minus one half g into t square. This equation number one and this is equation number two and this equation number three. Now keeping the value of three one in three we have to get here. That is a y is equal to v zero sine theta. Now from here we can write here t is equal to x upon v zero cos theta. So we can write here x upon v zero cos theta minus one half g t square with this x square upon upon v zero square cos square. Theta. Now simplifying we get here that is the y get here y here v zero v zero will be cancelled y is equal to sine upon cos which tangent theta into x minus one half g to x square upon v zero square cos square theta. Now this equation is this equation compared with the equation of parabola that is e x minus v x square. Means the path of the, the path of projectile is parabolic. Now you get the time for the maximum uh, height. So we can get the time for the maximum height. Time for 
maximum height. We can use equation number 2 here that is Vy is equal to V0 sin theta minus G0 Em. Now at maximum height that is Vy is equal to 0. So here velocity along my tension will be 0. So we will write here 0 is equal to V0 sin theta minus G Tm. Therefore Tm is equal to V0 sin theta upon G. So this is equation number 4. Now we will get here the maximum height. So maximum height of we will use the formula here. Maximum height that is a y is equal to v0 sin theta into t minus one half g into t square. Now keeping this t here, so that is y is y is equal to h is equal to v0 sin theta into t value we have to put here v0 sin theta upon g minus one half g into t square this square so we use the formula here that is the v0 square sin square theta upon g square on g g will be cancelled Therefore, h is equal to v0 square sin square theta upon g minus one half v0 square sin square theta upon g. So, one minus one half, so can be one half so v0 square sin square theta upon g. So, this is a equation of the maximum height. Now, we will get here. Now, we will get here the, the time for the total flight. So, time for the total flight time time for total flight that is Tf is equal to twice into Tm this Tm and after that this Tm so twice of two Tm so is equal to 2v0 sin theta on g so this is equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 now into the last we will get the range of the projectile. The range of the projectile. The maximum distance. The maximum distance traveled by by projectile. E horizontal direction direction is called range so we know that here r is equal to horizontal direction that is uh, r is equal to r is equal to v 0 cos theta into that is uh, e f that is time so we can write here v 0 cos theta into twice v0 sin theta upon g now simplifying we will get here that is a r is equal to v0 square 2 sin theta cos theta means your sin 2 theta upon g so this is the range of the projectile now when the range of the projectile will be maximum so there is a special condition here when theta is equal to 45 degree then range will be maximum is equal to v0 square upon g sin 2 into 45 sin 90 is 1 so we can get here v0 square upon g so uh, this way to understand this uh, topic in this topic the object is thrown in the gravitational field with uh, some velocity initial velocity v0 uh, in a horizontal, making some angle with the horizontal direction, then it moves with constant horizontal velocity and constant uh, value of acceleration in vertical direction. Then this uh, two type, uh, uh, this two dimensional motion is called projectile motion. The object exhibiting motion, this type of motion is called projectile.
we have to draw the figure here the projectile motion and uh, first we will get here the uh, get, uh, this projected the initial velocity v0 and in the theta then velocity has two component v0 cos theta in x direction v0 sin theta in the y direction after that uh, we know that the distance x is equal to v0 cos theta into t and uh, along the y direction that we can see now uh, velocity is given by that is the uh, uh, Vx is equal to uh, V0 cos theta and Vy is equal to Vy is equal to uh, V0 sin theta minus Vy is equal to V0 sin theta minus uh, GV. Uh, now we need to uh, get here the path of the projectile. So for this we know that the formula that is Y is equal to uh, V0 sin theta into T minus 1 half G T square. And from equation 1, that is t is equal to x upon v0 cos theta t in this value and simplifying we will get here y is equal to that is a, a v0 y is equal to tangent theta into x minus 1 half x square upon v0 square cos square theta. Comparing this equation with the equation of Kerakula, y is equal to ax minus bx square and this shows that the path of the project can be After that, we will get here that group height and Time for the uh, time for the maximum uh, time for the projectile to attain the maximum height. For this, we know that the formula is that is Vy is equal to V0 sin theta minus GT. Vy is 0 at maximum height, so finally Tm is equal to uh, V0 sin theta upon G. And similarly, we will get the uh, similarly we will get the uh, height the maximum height of the projectile that is Y is equal to v0 sin theta into t minus 1 half gt square keeping t is equal to tm is equal to v0 sin theta upon g and uh, simplifying will get h is equal to uh, v0 square sin square theta upon 2g after that uh, we will get the maximum time for the maximum flight that is tm is equal to 2 tm is equal to 2 sin theta upon uh, g and at the last we get range of the projectile the maximum distance traveled by the of the projectile in projectile direction is called range of the projectile f r is equal to v0 cos theta into tf keeping the value of tf at same time we get here r is equal to v0 square sin 2 theta on g when the range will be maximum and theta is equal to 45 therefore r is equal to v0 square upon g so this way to understand this problem thank you very much